So, hello everybody, and welcome to a let's play of Sarah's Run Escape from Capital Evil. Now, this might not look like one, but it's actually a Flash game on Cognigate. It's not really made with Flash, but it's made with Unity, and that's the thing about it. Uh, Unity is, uh, as you can see, an engine that lets you cre uh, create 3D environments. So this is a 3D jump run like kind of puzzle game. It gives you instructions right there. You move, you look around, and there's going to be, of course, something else, something more later. Since this game uh, tends to do something with gravity, not to spoil that much right now. And you can also dash. Well, that makes you run faster, but that's not, uh, that's not really that fast. We're going to run even faster later on. So that's basically it. You can double jump, press jump twice. Duh. And now on Congregate, the thing is that Congregate also features Unity games now, but I'm still gonna call them Let's Play Flash games since that's all my um, entire uh, playlist. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna make another playlist for Unity games, but whatever. You get the idea. So this was the first level, so basically I'm um, gonna uh, go to the end, which is this, and most of the time, well, all the time, there's a door um, before the end. You can see I have clearly one of ten levels for the end, and that's going to be a door uh, before the end. And you usually have to press a switch, and that's it. And here you see, give gravity the finger by pressing E. Whee! Yes, this lets you actually run on walls, on the ceiling, anywhere, and also makes you run faster. Now you see these laser things there. If you touch them, no nothing happens. Well, yet. So you use this trampoline to get up there, and it doesn't really look like a trampoline, but yeah. You press this button, and actually now what the laser does is, if you touch the laser like this, you see that the button gets like unpressed. The door gets closed again, you have to press the button again. So now that Congate features Unity games, you probably have uh, are gonna have a lot of more Unity games in the future, and I'm, I, I just can't wait to play them all. It's, you see, you, you got 3D games now. So with Flash, you only had like 2D. Even if even if they try to make 3D, it was um, pseudo 3D. But this is real 3D now. We're gonna have lots of awesome games like this. We're gonna have shooters. We're gonna have jump runs like these. We're gonna have puzzle games. We're gonna have adventures like this. Man, this this will be so awesome when it gets developed even further. No, I don't think that Unity is actually something that incredibly new. It's just new that it's now featured on Congregate since they only had Flash games before. And I think they also had another engine on there before, but I, can't, I, don't, I, can't, I, don't, I can't remember which one it was. But I think that's some other game on there before, some other game engine. But of course now they have Unity and that's a pretty awesome thing now. And this is one of the first Unity games, actually, they're actually having a Unity game contest to make the best um, Unity game for Congregate. And um, right, right now I've played the, the Unity Preview, they have a game on there which is Unity Preview, it's just a tiny little third person shooter. Uh, just to preview what Unity does, and then uh, Sarah's Run, which is this, it's also just a preview of Unity, but... There are gonna be more Unity games. I think there also already are more Unity games like this. I mean, there are not only two Unity games running there right now, but this is probably the most um, awesome right now on Congregate. Which, uh, and of course, now that they're on Congregate, they're gonna be a lot uh, more accessible. I, I mean, I've never really known how to get a Unity games before. Really, I mean, I've, I think I played one Unity game before, but oh, it was pretty random how I got it. But now that they're in Congregate, that's gonna make it a lot easier to play them. And of course you're gonna have badges. Yes, badges and achievements. Uh, yeah, back to the game. I've probably skipped a few game elements by now because I'm just dashing through. You get conveyor belts, you get checkpoints, you get these arrows on the ground that relocate re the gravity. And you got slippery oil and these electric fields which are pretty self-explanatory. Now this one you want to press the two buttons on the sides first and I'm just using the gravity force sometimes because it lets you run incredibly fast apart from it just making you run um, to like trick the gravity. And also if you jump like that while you're in gravity mode and you're on this gravity side, well not really gravity side but you're, while you're on the side you can keep the gravity to go on. 
to some other place like there you just use this and I just use the gravity and that's pull on the side to jump up there or like here you use the gravity to switch uh, push the button right there and that's going to be a lot a lot more complex puzzles later on since this is basically a puzzle platformer not really a 100% platform but a puzzle platform really so we also got moving platforms that oh, looks interesting, doesn't it? Basically, you go up there, and you go up there, press this, and now you basically gotta run all the way over there without hitting one of these buttons to relocate the gravity because you need the gravity on this side to get over here. So now this this button right there, but it's in the middle of a gravity field, so you gotta be real and uh, not gravity field, but electric field. You have to be really get off. Oh, um, let's do this again. But basically, you be really careful right there because you have to uh, land right on the button to actually do it. It's actually not that tough, but I'm. The thing is, every time I play games like these, I I stick down the uh, run button all the time. I'm not, I'm not releasing it for anything. Maybe I should sometimes, but whatever. So it's level number four. We're getting, even, we're getting more and more complex. Now we got this uh, pseudo 2D now. Weird. Flash, we had pseudo 3D on 2D environments, and now we have pseudo 2D in a 3D environment. <laughs> oh no. Try it again. Oh, two times in a row. Also, if you're in gravity mode, you get this little arrow down there showing you where the gravity is pointing at right now. It's already at this level. Levels aren't really that long, really. But it's just the intro, anyway. And now you got these uh, walls right here, and if you pass through a wall like this, you get deep powered. Which means you cannot use your gravity move anymore. You can uh, power yourself up again by going on these fields, and then you can roam around freely again. So we do this, go over there, take the take our powers back, and press the switch. And that's basically it. I got a conveyor belt on gravity uh, on these walls, and then basically right here you just have to jump over there, not fall down. Just have to jump over there to get yourself powered up, and even if you use a checkpoint or die. You're not gonna pow get power back up. You really need to get to these um, um, fields to power you up again. Here we go. Level seven. Now you got a whole level of these um, lasers right there. And it's basically trying to get to the uh, end of the room without touching the lasers, which isn't really that tough, really. Don't jump there and. Yeah, if you get through a room and then go to the new room, there's always going to be a switch right there so you don't have to do all the things over again. This one's probably the most easy, the easiest one. Just go over there and that's it. Oh. Yeah, there you just hide behind that box and once it's um, past you, you just run through it. And there you go. End of this level. I'm probably going to fit this in one part. This one is a pretty weird one. Yeah, I got all these rotating platforms here. Basically, the first part of the stage is just to get your power again. And then, you use the blocks to actually switch the gravity around. So you want to press the button, and then try and get to the door. Which is... No, that, no that's not the wrong one. That's not the right one, that's the wrong one. There are two doors in here, and I opened the other one. Just over there. I have to wait like this and then jump down. There you go. And I want to go to the ceiling, I guess. I was already on the ceiling. What was I doing? Whatever. And that's the end. Two more levels, level 9 or level 10. 
The last two levels are basically, you're in a room, the lots of switches, you gotta press every switch to continue on. So you do this to get this one. Somewhere on the walls, somewhere on the ceiling, somewhere in some higher places, somewhere in lower places, they're all over the place, but if you do what I do, I think it's somewhat, uh, somewhat close to the fastest shoot you might be able to do. I only played this game once before, but this is, I think, about the fastest way to do this level. The last switch is a, pr is a bit tricky. You have to re relocate the gravity like this, and then run back to the ceiling, which was the ground before, and then drop down on the switch. And then you basically gotta do the whole thing again, just to get gravity back to normal and beat the level. Of course you can beat the level without getting the gravity back again, but uh, that's what I do always. Always do. Whatever. Level 10 is a bit hidden over here. And this is like this level before, but this time you have a huge room and there's like 5 switches which are on this cube right there. So we you get the gravity to one side and then it's go to the other side and then use the gravity to drop onto a switch. Like that. Do this five times, well actually three times, the last two switches are gotten a little bit differently than the other ones. So for this one we get the gravity on this side and this time I'm going to go to the other side with that one and drop on the other switch. Basically what we did before but this time the, on the other side. Okay, three more to go. Okay, for the next one we're going to go over there and do somewhat similar to what we did before but it's not going to be exactly the same since we're going to have to use a little bit of tricks to go around there. So go over here and actually drop onto this um, these blocks right there and then jump on the switch from there. Okay now the last two switches are a little bit trickier than the other ones. So we want to get over here Pass this checkpoint. This checkpoint is basically just to save your press switches. So if you don't, if, if you die or something, you don't have to press all the switches again. So if you want to be really safe, you could press it after each button press, but you really don't have to do that. There's not a whole lot of opportunities to die in the stage, which I don't think these actually feels so you was able to see right there were the only ones. So with this one, you have to go over there and then try and jump on there and not fall. Good thing you're so fast, it doesn't make uh, any difference if you fall down because you can run back um, th uh, that quickly that it really doesn't matter really. So you go over here, this time, there we go. I'm gonna do uh, this way again because we g for the last switch we're gonna have to do a little bit of tricks t um, to get to. Basically, to get to it we have to drop from a we have to drop on it from above, so we'll have to get up there. So we do this, be careful not to fall around here. And then just drop on the switch right there. And that's basically it. That's the entire game. It's only a preview, really. Okay, to get to the exit... It's another kind of story, but you just do this, get the gravity back to normal. And that's it. You finished the preview. Want to stay informed about the progress of the game? Visit the development block. Only want to know big news like when pre-orders are available? Subscribe to the announcement list. Thanks for playing. Let me know what you think. Sophie. Now actually this game is gonna cost money once it's out. But I think it's a pretty awesome game. So if you want to check it out, if you played on Congregate there's links and everything. So you might want to check it out. At least play the preview, and if you really, really like the preview, then you might even want to buy the full game once it's out. Um, Sophie's also going to make other games if you look at her blog, so uh, we're going to see lots of awesome stuff. And of course, Unity on Congregate. Yes! See you there, guys.